Gentech. What the hell happened to you, Alex? I've been researching that whole fucked up organization for weeks. I was poking around to get you information. Don't you remember? You wanted to find out what was going on at the highest levels at Gentech. Anything about the director of research. Do you... Are you okay? Do you know what happened? I, I haven't even seen you in five years. Not until you show up at my door last month. Is there somewhere we can go? Yeah, I, um... I know a place. So come in. It's a, it's a friend's place. They're gone for a year. Patagonia or something. Any idea what this all means? No, but I'm gonna find out. I mean, this is a story of the century, so somebody's gotta know what the fuck is going on here. You know, they were waiting for me at my place, so they're most definitely yours. Where do I live? There. You'll be here when I get back. It's best you stay put. They'll probably come in the city for both of us. Yeah. I'll be here. You find anything? Jesus Christ! Don't do that. Sorry. Okay, uh, your apartment? There's nothing left there. Right, well, it doesn't matter. I've been looking at your laptop. Laptop? Yeah. It came in a package the day after you went AWOL. Look. I I've seen that girl before. Well, it makes sense. There are only two names in the file. One is yours. The second is this woman, Elizabeth Green. She's still in isolation at the Gentech building. Do you know who she is? Hey, whoever she is, she knows more than I do. My God. She's just a girl. What kind of fucking monsters are these people? Can't remember. Where are they landing? Southeast Manhattan, but the carrier, the USS Reagan, is supposed to remain off the southern coast. I wonder where those trucks are heading. Wherever they're going, I'm betting McMullen is there. He did this to me, and I'm gonna find out why. And then? Then I'm gonna make sure he never does it to anyone else. Ever again. I think I might be able to get you close to McMullen. The news has been showing an endless loop of Blackwatch scientific teams turning up at Hives. Those teams have to be working for McMullen, right? If they are, then one of them has got to know how to get to him. Get into one of those areas and draw McMullen in. McMullen is the key to all of this. Man, you look like shit, but this might help. McMullen? No, but they're watching someone for him. Okay, it's this doctor named Bradley Ragland. Where is he? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's a good guy. Okay, you find him. He helps us get to McMullen. He's uptown at St. Paul's Hospital. He runs the morgue there. Wait, wait, hold up. There's more. All right, so I did some research on uh, Hope, Idaho. It, it was an army town. On July 21st, 1969, it vanishes from the map. The official word was that it was an anti-government gun nut standoff. Some militia killed a bunch of people, and the feds killed the militia. Now, there was only one survivor. Notice a girl, second from the left. Elizabeth Green. He looks an awful lot like a college student these days. Not bad for 55 years old. Hope Idaho was an experiment. How could you possibly know that? The people I've killed, they're in me. I can hear them, see the things they've what the done. What fuck are you talking about? I can understand it all. I'm supposed to do these things, but it's right. I can feel it. Find Ragland and ask him about McMullen. So, uh, what did Raglan have to say? Dana, I'm sorry. I didn't know how to tell you. I need to know why. 
They made me this way, and I need to understand. It's all right, Alex. It's fine. Look, no matter what, you're still my brother. What is it? Shh, wait. Hold on. Responsive, but stable. We've got other problems. We just turned up. Well, what now? Looks like I've got plans. Do what you can for her.